name is Olivia, and I'm a 20-year-old college student who loves to read. I've enjoyed reading ever since I was little, and it was my favorite thing to do with my dad when I was growing up. Unfortunately, not many of my friends and family members share my passion for reading, so I didn't have anyone to connect with and share my ideas and my most recent reads and receive recommendations. So around 2011, when I was in 7th grade, I stumbled across Goodreads. I was absolutely stunned at the sense of community that I found there. I enjoyed reading reviews, sharing book recommendations, and getting some recommendations of my own. In fact, a few years later, in 2014, I started my own blog, Brewing Up Books, which I'll link down below, and I primarily posted reviews, discussions, and author interviews. Throughout all of this, I had been an avid booktube watcher, but hadn't really had the courage to sit down and start a channel of my own. I'm so excited to be a part of this community, and I can't wait to see what's to come. I'm currently a pre-med rising junior, and I'm majoring in molecular biology and genetics with a minor in infectious diseases. Unfortunately, none of my coursework has a literature focus, so I'm trying to fit in as much reading as I can outside of my coursework and extracurricular activities. Since I'm just starting out on booktube, I figured it would be a great opportunity to do the booktube newbie tag. The first question is, where are you joining us from? I live in Pennsylvania, but I go to school in central New York. Why did you join booktube? I joined BookTube because I wanted a more personable sense of community. I think blogging is a great way to get to know people, but you don't ever see the person behind that screen who's writing all of those blog posts. So I wanted more of that personal touch, and I wanted to expand my group of friends within the reading community. I thought BookTube would be a great platform to do so. What is the meaning behind your channel name? My channel name is identical to the name of my blog, Brewing Up Books. Back in 2014 when I started my blog, I thought it was a cute name that could have some spooky themes to go along with it, especially since I really enjoy reading thriller and horror books. It really fit in with my reading interests, and I figured there was a lot I could do with it graphic-wise. What type of books do you read or do you want to talk about? I primarily read adult fiction, specifically thrillers, high fantasy, mysteries, and horror. I do read the occasional young adult, but it's few and far between. Who are your favorite authors? First and foremost, I have to credit J.K. Rowling for sparking my love for reading. When I first started learning how to read, my dad and I would sit down every night before I went to bed and read a chapter of Harry Potter. It was the highlight of my night, and it made me look forward to reading. I don't know that I would be here today without it, so I owe a lot to the Harry Potter series. More recently, I've been a huge fan of George R.R. R. Martin, Andy Weir, Gillian Flynn, and Stephen King, to mention a few. What is the last book that you read? I just finished After You by Jojo Moyes, which is the sequel to Me Before You. I loved Me Before You. It was a five-star read for me, but After You left me feeling a little disappointed. I had really high expectations after reading Me Before You, but unfortunately this one let me down. I would have preferred reading Me Before You as a standalone rather than reading the sequel. What are you currently reading? I'm in the middle of Still House Lake by Rachel Kane. It's a character-driven thriller following a woman whose husband is a serial killer. You get to watch her rebuild her life without her husband as she tries to shelter her children from the outside world. I'm really enjoying it so far, and I am 197 pages in, and there have been quite a few twists and turns in here that I didn't see coming. It's been a great read so far. What do you use for bookmarks? I think I'm fairly boring in this respect. I just use bookmarks. I like my books to be in pristine condition, so I've never dog-eared my pages. If I don't have a bookmark lying around, I'll just use a napkin, a receipt, anything that's relatively flat, and then switch it out for a bookmark when I can. Show us your TBR pile. My TBR pile is massive. If I tried to show it all in one video, we would be here all day. So I'll just link to my Goodreads page down below, and you can see what I'm planning to read in the future. Hardcover or paperback? This is a multifaceted answer for me. I like the physical appearance of hardcovers, but I prefer reading paperbacks. I love floppy paperbacks, so those are my go-to. Paperbacks are also more convenient from a size and weight standpoint for me. I usually don't have a lot of room in my bag, so I'll usually grab a paperback when I'm planning to read on the go. Paperbacks are also more convenient from a price standpoint, especially if you're on a college budget like I am. Ebooks or physical books? If you asked me this question before I started college, my go-to answer would have been physical books, without a doubt. I like being able to see the book, touch it, physically turn the pages, and I also love that bookish smell. Once I moved into college, I didn't have a lot of space for books. 
Each year, I've only had space for about 10 books at college. It's a four and a half hour drive to go from home to college for me, so it's not feasible for me to come home frequently and swap out my books. Since starting college, I have to say ebooks. They're much more practical, and it gives me the freedom to buy and read books wherever I want, whenever I want. I've been able to make use of a few spare minutes when I'm waiting in line at the dining hall or riding the bus, where I can whip out my phone and read an ebook. Whereas if I was relying on physical books, I might not have a physical book on me, or it might not be a great place to pull one out and start reading. Making use of all of these spare bits of time, when I would otherwise be scrolling Facebook or playing a game on my phone, has also increased my reading, which is always a good thing. Owning or borrowing. I 100% prefer to own books. When I was younger, I was really reliant upon the library because my trips to bookstores were few and far between. What book or series got you into reading? I already talked about this. It was the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. How did you discover BookTube? I stumbled across BookTube a few years ago when a friend of mine decided to create a channel. Unfortunately, she's no longer posting, but as soon as I watched my first video, I was hooked. What challenges do you think you will face with your own channel? I'm guessing the biggest challenge I'll face is trying to keep up with a consistent posting schedule. Right now, I'm on summer vacation, so I have a little bit of free time to play around. Once I head back to school in a few weeks, I'll be doing my best to juggle booktube, reading, extracurriculars, and of course academics. I don't think I can officially commit to a posting schedule, just because I'm not sure what my schedule is going to look like for this year, but I'll be posting as frequently as I can. Where else can we find you? I have a blog, which I've already mentioned. I have a Goodreads, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page. And I will have all of those linked down below in the description. And that's the end of the tag. I tag anyone else who is new here on BookTube. And I think that wraps up this video. I'll see you in my next video.